Hi, my name is Dr. Ayuko Iverson. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Medicine and the Department of Genetics and Genomic Sciences. So geneticists and genetic specialists see patients throughout the lifespan from even before birth through older adults. Oftentimes we see patients that are referred because they're symptomatic. Uh, they either have symptoms of a particular genetic disease, a known genetic disease, for example, polycystic kidney disease, or they have a, a relatively common disease, but it's really early onset. So for example, if someone has a heart attack at an early age, or if they have a, a very rare disease that has a known genetic predisposition like certain cancer syndromes or um, heart arrhythmias, those time, oftentimes those patients get referred to us from their specialist to genetics. Other times we see uh, patients who are healthy, otherwise healthy, but they, they know that they have a family history of a certain condition, or maybe there are multiple family members uh, in, in there that they know of that uh, have the same condition and they're concerned that they may have a genetic condition. We also, we also see those patients. Uh, and then also sometimes we see healthy patients who don't have their own, any uh, medical history or uh, any concerning family history, but they're just wondering if they're at risk for any, uh, any, any genetic conditions that, that they may be able to prevent um, or treat ahead of time. And then finally, uh, we also see patients who uh, pre preconception before they get pregnant and they know that there are carriers for condition or maybe have a family history of, a, of certain genetic conditions and they see one of our prenatal genetic counselors uh, to discuss that in more detail. So as you can see, we see patients uh, at, all certain, all, at all life stages and for all different types of indications. So genetic conditions are diagnosed just as we diagnose any other medical condition. So it always starts with a full uh, medical history and also a physical exam when we see those patients. We, uh, if, the Im if certain imaging tests or lab tests are not already done from, by other providers, we will order uh, x-rays or ultrasounds or MRIs so that we can take a closer look at uh, specific body sy systems that may be affected by a genetic condition that may help us uh, diagnose specific genetic conditions. And then of course, we, we will send off specialized blood tests, laboratory tests, specifically genetic tests that will take a close look at someone's genetic information to see, uh, to see if they have, uh, if they have a, if, uh, to confirm the diagnosis. So there are actually a lot of new and exciting therapies for genetic conditions. There are some targeted therapies that are now available, such as gene therapy, which you may have heard um, before. And those um, uh, gene therapies are um, enable, um, enable us to either repair or replace a faulty gene that might be not working properly in a genetic condition. And similarly, there are other therapies like mRNA therapy or enzyme replacement therapies that also provide targeted treatment for specific genetic conditions. If there's uh, something that's not, uh, that's uh, a protein or an enzyme that is not, um, not working appropriately or not present um, in certain genetic conditions. Um, there are also, uh, just like other medical conditions, there are, all, there are medications that we also are able to prescribe to help manage symptoms. Um, so uh, typical therapies for heart disease or diabetes or seizures, those medications are also used to, to treat the, uh, the symptoms if there are any of the genetic condition. So we offer a whole host of services all the way from diagnosis of a genetic condition to treatment. So when it comes to, um, uh, to diagnosis, we actually have a, a multidisciplinary team that helps see patients. So we, uh, we have a team of medical geneticists as well as genetic counselors that see patients uh, so that we can do 
a full, um, uh, obtain a full medical history and a full family history and to also do a physical exam to diagnose patients. And then we also uh, manage patients who have diagnosed genetic conditions. In addition to the geneticists and genetic counselors, we also have social workers and nutritionists who also help us uh, manage uh, our patients. And of course, there are a lot of subspecialists who are not necessarily within our department of, of, of genetics or division of medical genetics, but who have special interests in, in managing patients with uh, genetic conditions. We also have a variety of clinical trials that are being led by several of our physicians within the division for, uh, for certain uh, genetic conditions and so that we can develop new therapies. And then finally, um, uh, as a primary care physician, I help to manage uh, patients with genetic conditions. Uh, as one can imagine, a lot of our, of our patients with, with these conditions have a lot lifelong management and surveillance that is needed. So I help those patients navigate through all of the, um, the surveillance and, uh, and um, um, medical treatments that they may need so that they can receive the most optimal and evidence-based treatment that is available.